Hello everyone, this is Daga, and today I found myself in quite a thorny situation. Hunting a good ration in Crimson Glow, Valstrax, and then afflicted as Spinas. So yeah, this was a very challenging class to even clear without carding. I think this was the first one I cleared without carding actually, so yeah. Really challenging stuff. Rose through her rower here, since the Bufang goes through us a bit. Uh, I did that morph way too early, so I thought she would just target the Bufango, got hit by the Tail instead, but okay. Heal up, because these monsters do a lot of damage, I don't want to cart here. That Bufang was nice enough to stop charging, but trolled me by preventing me from getting close to Raffian. There's a better punisher than this to this attack, but you'll see that soon enough. She's getting mad, so I rode through the rower, I was under her, so I wasn't sure which way to counter. But you can just counter this type of attack instead, right? Get amped, and now she's going to do the fireballs and tailspin again, so we can get under her and counter the tailspin. The counter moves us forward, so the fireball is not an issue at all, and you can keep attacking her legs. Like this. And here I try to counter her tail flips to hit the tail tip. Missed this time, but we'll hit it other times in this run. So a good reaction tail tip is the only cutting weak spot initially. If you break her head, her head becomes a weak point, but her head's quite tough. And the legs are trollish, they're 44 hits on value, so we need 45 to trigger weakness exploit. And that's why I tried to counter hit the tail. Managed to hit the tail tip with two hits there, so that was very nice. But usually I can only hit one if it counters. So I can dodge this at the last moment to trigger out evasive skills. Try to counter the tail flip. Hit twice again on the tail tip, that's very nice. She goes for the fireball and tail spin, so again, we get close to her, and we can counter the tail spin and go for her legs. The legs are not weak spots, as I said before, but they're easier to hit than the tail. The tail tip is quite hard to hit, usually, and we can get a trip from the legs, so that's nice enough, at least. I uh, dodged the wrong way there, I was confused by the camera and the way my character was looking, I wanted to roll away from her, not through the tail, but no problem, could just heal up and be fine. Uh, dodge that, attack her head a bit. Now that attack's a bit scary, that fireball, it always hits me and then it's up carding me. The first fireball is not a one shot, this one is, but the first one deals like 80 to 90% of your health. Here I wanted to see her head, but she tripped, so I left the tail, got rolled. Eject early and go for the head. When she has her health far on the head, that means the head takes a lot of damage. So this is the time she has an actual weak spot. And we're going to abuse that as much as possible. But Velstrak showed up. Usually it shows up with an ambush. I, but sometimes it doesn't. It just shows up like this. I don't know what triggers each one. But whatever. I've said on my previous run, I'm allowing rides for my simple rules now. So I picked up that Ruby Wirebug. And I wanted to go to Tal on Velstrax. But it kept trolling me, I'll be hit a lot during this ride, you'll see. But what I'm going for is the initial A attack, then dodge. So you get Airborne Gold Raffian. And if you press A when she's Airborne, she does her flying tail sweep. Look at this, this is very strong. So yeah, I wanted to go for that attack all the time, but Velstrax kept hitting me. And can go for the punch for her punisher deals a ton of damage, so that's 1000 there. But look at this fireball. Just look at this. Look at that. Like, there were two hits of 1.3 thousand damage, and a bunch of smaller 100 ish ones, plus the fire blight. So, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Counter this. And yes, I use rides because I'm really scared of Crimson Glow Vile Strikes. So yeah, I am literally carried by Gold Raffian, not ashamed to admit that. It's very weird that he does the ambush here now, I think it's because it didn't do on the Raffian. Cause on, this was the first round it did this actually. Cause usually it would enrage and go for the chest load here, without an ambush there, but okay, whatever. Dodge this, and we can counter the second one if you roll early for the first thrust there. If you roll too late, then you won't have time to counter, so keep an eye for that. And it flies like that, you want to get into the counter stance, we can counter these thrusts. And whoops, he got hit with the super armor there, so we can just attack a bit and stop to heal. 
Sometimes it will dive bomb you instead of stressing, but you can just counter that as well. So always going to counter stance when it's hovering. Yeah, dodge that. I rolled a bit too late, so I didn't have time to counter. I decided to roll through the second thrust there to trigger all my evasive skills. So dodge that and I I didn't goof there. <laughs> I didn't expect the second thrust. Yeah, that is a goofy thing. But okay, you can just run away from the lasers. These lasers are very scary because they run shots, but it was fine now. Give it back its head. Okay, it goes back so we can poke at it just a tiny bit and not commit too much because of these fast attacks. Dodge the two draws and keep attacking its head. Roll backwards so we can dodge this. Very nice. Once again, hovering so we get into counter stance. And it misses me! Like, no strikes if the sick play is there, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't goof there again. Very high damage on this class. I don't want to be below full health at any time. You have the Dragon Blight as well, because I'm running poison and I have built up boost and I want those poison procs. So dodge this, dodge that. Yeah, this time I was paying attention. Wasn't paying too much attention to my distance for it though, right? Okay, keep attacking. Pokey here, pokey there. It's going to enrage, so you can position to counter the roar. Very nice. Oh, okay, I got that flinch there. And it always flinches just after the headbreak as well. That's a bit weird, but sure, whatever. Roll through that. Counter this one. When it's doing that slam, you have to counter at the very last moment. If you counter too soon, you move forward and miss the counter. So there's a hot tip. Dodge this, ready a counter, and counter a spin here. Didn't hit the head with the counter because the wall didn't allow Velstrax to slide as it usually would, but that's okay. Blue icon, it's going to change areas, not really because it died. But yeah, it was taunting a lot, so it was going to change areas. But Velstrax got the blue icon at incredibly low health. So yeah, just attacked it a bit more and it died. Now we have to get to that unfinished business with Rakion, right? So let's go after her. We should the stamina here because sometimes I find myself roll spamming a lot. So stamina is important. And I'm using a normal wet fish here just to preserve my wet fish in plus. I'm a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> I have almost 300 of them and they don't want to spend them. So yeah. She still has the hellfire there. And I rolled a bit too early there. <laughs> I'm used to the rage timing. But okay, it was a mistake, but we will survive, right? Attack her head here and she goes down. We dealt a lot of damage to her head before, remember? She can't get tripped out of Hellfire mode when she's already tripped or mountable or whatever. So we probably had one HP on the head. Throw through her tailspin, attack a bit. Throw through this rower, this time we got the timing right. This. Look at all those skill activation prompts. Feels like Day's World, right? Here comes the double fireball to those pins. So get under her. Counter this. The third fireball will miss. And you can keep comboing her legs. Just like always. Dodge the tail. And let's prepare to counter her tail flip. Here, always try to aim slightly to the left to hit the tail tip. Yeah, and we got a lot of tail tip heads in this round, right? The first one missed, but afterwards we got a lot of them. Messed up attacking too much there, so I couldn't counter her, but okay, she's dead now, so that's a way to do with it, right? Now we just have to get to Espinas. We already used the fast travel to the nearby spot because Gilgrafian started there, remember? So we can't fast travel there. Oh well. At least we can pick up a normal wire bug, a ruby wire bug for the faster cooldowns. This will be very important in the opener. Picked up that extra affinity, which will be most you run off by the time we get to Espinas, right? But, well, it didn't hurt to get that, right? I suppose so. so there's a Spinas, Engage, Counter this. And it will go into Rage Mode, but because we had the faster cooldowns for the Ruby Wire Bug, we have just enough time to counter the Enrage Roar as well. If I have Wire Bug Whisper 3, I think that works by itself with no Ruby Wire Bugs required, but I don't have that, so yeah. After this and chase after the speed us. These tight spots are a bit scary, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? 
can counter that because it attacked my hat, not the sword, but okay. Flap the wings, so it's going to do this aerial attack. Always pay attention to the flapping wings. You want to get under him, you don't want to get hit by those poison fire paralysis fireballs, right? Dodge this, dodge that, attack here, attack there. People say Espinas looks like a Raffian, but I think it's fighting styles more Diablos like, right? It's always charging at you, and sometimes it throws a fireball, right? But these charges, man, they put Diablos to shame, don't them? Get yeah, under him, dodge the tail, and keep attacking its belly. The belly head and tail are all weak spots when he's in rage, not the legs, though. So, yeah, just kind of attack whatever. Draw means Spinos didn't get very far to the charge, so he can counter the fireball and actually hit it. And very nice. Now he's unenraged, and this is the most boring part. Not only is he exhausted and slow, but that means that Spinos is no longer enraged, so bad head zones all around. The legs take the most damage, but aren't actually weak spots. So we'll go for the ZSD to sort of a blade to try and get some damage, like yeah, fixed damage. But I think even fixed damage is reduced, right? Those numbers too low. But okay, uh, little damage is better than no damage, right? So just keep attacking it. The poison also does some damage, but Espinus is very resistant. Yeah, my gut told me to counter there, and it worked. So that was nice, right? Got the trip here just as it enraged again, so this was very nice, very fortunate. Because the speed of trips last very long, so we got a ton of free damage in it. Flappy wings, so it's going to do the aerial attack there. I was in counter stance already, so I just countered it, but yeah, pay attention to those flapping wings. Very dangerous stuff. Going to change areas, which is actually pretty nice because I knew that the opening to resharp it, right? Let's get over here and takes the long route by flying up and down, and we take the fast route by just walking there. This is one of my fan plus here because this penis is getting here soon, no time to waste. Uh, clip those pair squids trolling hand and send that to scare your TA junkie friends. Like, whenever a monster is in area town, they're probably getting hit by these pair squids, and that's it, there you go. And TA rolls. Yeah, we'll counter this. And the single hit on his face, that's better than nothing, right? Yeah, no wall to save me here. So Spinus goes very far away. Sheath and zip to him. I'm gonna be too greater if the axe attack into a double sword warfare though. And messed up this timing here as well, so very low health. I'm going to sheath and heal. I don't want to carry this lady to the run, you know? Scary stuff. Ready the counter stands there to try and counter something. Didn't counter anything, but we're punching out of rage mode once again. So once again we're stuck doing very little damage. Very unfortunate. Try to go for the ZSD there, miss him, but okay. The ground that discharge is actually a bit stronger. No sorry her blade follow-up, but that's okay. Counter that so we have to gain, and just keep attacking, like... Not really much to say there. Attack a bit, and here my gut says it's going to enrage. My gut was wrong. At least we can counter this. And there's the enrage roar, so I wasn't all that wrong. Didn't have bugs though, so I had to just roll with old school style. Okay, the counter stands here, and you can counter the fireball. Two hits, so that's very meaty, right? Flappy wings again. I wasn't countering in case it tried to charge or something. Like you're alive and counter this. Not really, missed it. But we dodged through something there and triggered all the evasion skills, so that's nice, right? Once again, the spinis goes very far, so we zipped him. Not going to make the same mistake there with the long bars though, so I'm going to sword into wax bar, which is a bit faster. Bit weaker, but safer. Didn't get hit, so it was worth it. Flappy wings. Chase after him. Just attack twice and ready a counter because it always attacks very fast after that. Yeah, I couldn't dodge that, but okay, just zip back in and keep attacking. 
I'm just spamming ZR here because it's safer. I didn't know what the Spinos was going to do. So yeah, ZR spends weaker than the longer Morflu, but it's safer. So yeah, that was my strat there. Right over here. I think I could have countered that fireball, but I played it safe there. Like I'm thinking I could counter it, only rewatching now. That didn't cross my mind while I was actually playing. Blue icon there, but afflicted the Spinos has a ton of health. We've been here this for a while, right? So yeah, I won't go Juunga, but he's exhausted. So yeah, he's just leading to Storm Ever Blade, fix damage, yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep attacking him. Murph goes there and he's dead. So there's our time, 15 minutes and 35 seconds. As I said, I believe Dula is my first simple attempt where I didn't card. So <laughs> that is my criteria for a good brat. This is a challenging class, you saw that the monsters do a ton of damage and good reaction and the Spinas also have the poison going for them. Spinas even has like fire blight and paralysis, so yeah. Uh, a single mistake can mean death. For my armor set, I'm running the Camellio Switch X, which I don't know if it's the best choice here, right? Because Gold Raffian and the Spinas are both quite resistant to poison. If Gold Raffian, I think I had good poison uptime actually. Lots of her attacks I want to throw through, so that got status trigger. And that means you can apply a ton of poison, but Espinas was not poison for a lot of the time. But he also don't have matching elemental weaknesses, so yeah. I, I took poison here just kind of as a rod option that sometimes drops more damage and gets build up boost. And when the poison's up, we also get 4A, so it's a very strong rod option, but maybe something else would be better. I don't know, we didn't explore many options. So that's left in as an exercise for the viewers. So yeah, you guys go and test the other options. And as usual, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya! Bye bye!